Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you the uh, two new maids though uh, One is a Lamborghini Countach, another one is Porsche 992 GT3 Now they are 118 scale made of die cars and the price range of the retail should be about £35 to £40 uh, Anything more than that I wouldn't pay for it Alright, so they are, they are a little bit overinflated at the moment because they are very new and came out recently uh, less than about a week or two weeks ago so it is a little bit expensive at the moment so here we are and as soon as I saw these two on the uh, major brochures I really wanted these two and uh, I couldn't wait to get it I asked my source in China and surprisingly you know what <laughs> they haven't even got this in China I don't know how <laughs> you know it's so strange and uh, but uh, later on I'm sure that they're gonna make this one in better version with their windows and all their little attention to detail with a bit more opening parts and stuff like that I don't know but the uh, for now uh, I seen it on the carmodel.com from Italy and uh, they also sell their Lamborghini and Porsche and Lamborghini has different color they made this one in the uh, I think it's a yellow and also this white one and also the orange color something like that or red or something like that as well and this one Porsche also have the same thing they have it on a orange with a black stripe which is kind of cool and also black one on its own and also blue one as well and so they have quite a few different color range and they say it's exclusively to the carmodel.com but unfortunately uh, I tried to buy it from them and the price range is the same thing as UK about 30 uh, five pounds to 40 pounds they are think about 40 euro or something like that plus shipping and um, but unfortunately they do not sell it to uk because of the vat tax reason so you have to buy more than 135 pound equivalent otherwise they don't ship it and you can't just check out it doesn't work so that's the problem with that anyway i managed to get this one from luckily from amazon uh this one both of them are about 35 pound 36 pound i would say all right so i, I got here and within three days later and i decided to get some more and then they sold out i said how is that possible you i just you know three days ago you, you know you would you have it and then now it's all gone and now they're selling it for 51 pound for the second batch so that is insane i mean that is um, so here we are let anyway let's get started i'm sure you you bore with me talking all the rubbish and uh, you want me to get on with the car so let's start with the Countach I really like this Countach design and then they absolutely maintain the uh, design of the original Countach and so first of all let's start with the light detail so the light detail you got two uh, silver painted on the headlight okay and then this seems to be quite reasonable detail you know it's really not bad and you got a little bit uh, detail on the surface as well as well as the uh, two silver um, LED light and also you got Countach logo here or of course they are all plastic right so they are not really like a carbon fiber effects or anything like that so you got opening part but obviously nothing there and then on the side and the problem with this uh, maze door is that some of the uh, model you're gonna have a uh, minor uh, issues so in my model right so in this one I have a little bit over spray here so you can see a little bit lump on this little bumper here uh, it's not too bad it's not that noticeable I suppose because it's all white but it is kind of annoying and here is a little bit over spray as well so paint in this little edge is quite thick it's too much paint here <laughs> so um, you're gonna have inconsistency inconsistency in some of these models and uh, if you have a few models and in hand and you, if you compare them you can see some of them are a little bit better than the others like for example the rim you can see that the silver part around it and that some area is a little bit fainted you see here where my finger is and you see the silver part in here is a little bit fainted and some part is stronger than others so you're gonna get hit or miss right so but they all have some minor issue and also little corner here little scratch a uh, little paints a little bit or is it just a glue or something i don't know whether um yeah things like that but uh, from the surface it's not really that bad so if you can tolerate some of the little minor issues and you know and that's fine because remember this is less than 40 pound model cars and made of die cars with opening parts and you're not gonna get all these stuff you know perfect and expect <laughs> to be like an auto art or lcd or something like that that's not gonna happen but anyway so you got the uh, brake disc and caliper so the brake disc is quite shallow 
and it's not thick enough uh, in a real car the brake disc is huge right so the front brake disc is massive and caliper also massive but in this one it's a little bit small and the brake disc is so flimsy and ugh. <laughs> I don't like this one but uh, that's how it is at the moment and you do have a suspension and you know uh, you can swivel um, it's also linked with the steering wheel inside which is good and the plastic on the mirrors is, is not smooth it have a little dent on it I don't know why and uh, look at it on the CN as well it's also the same in CN because it painted so you don't actually notice it but in here it's not painted so you can see clearly that it's a little bit there you know <laughs> um, other than that it's not too bad and then in here is a quite a deep air intake so this is really good I like this sharp fin here this is really cool as well and then if I open the door this is really cool inside the interior of this car is really impressive compared to the you know considering the price point and you got a nice seat and then you got Countach uh, little logos here uh, hopefully you can see it here if I zoom in a little bit and focus a little bit better yeah so I think you can see a bit better now and also the buttons and stuff on the center console is quite visible enough and also the uh, the on and off start and stop engine has a little red flat as well which is also cool and so there are quite a lot of little details in here for the you know interior for that kind of model which is really impressive and all the little button here as well which is really nice and the door also has quite a lot of texture here so if i show you clo a bit closer all right so you got a uh, red and white black all the little textures and also little buttons on there as well which is all nice actually i really like this Countach is really impressive and this is this is where the money is and also the uh, you know the headrest also have a Lamborghini logo on it so it's very very nice interior indeed and that's why I look at the uh, the back wheel so you guys nice suspension uh, we spin nicely no no you know problem here front and back and underneath there is nothing there of course they, they don't have anything down here for that kind of price point and at the back the tail light is the same as the uh, CN I would say uh, it is still really good looking the exhaust pipes are quite deep I would wish that they painted a little bit silver or something like that or use a little bit better carbon fiber effects here well, it's not too bad it's still a bit glossy but in here I feel a little bit cheap uh, because this feel all plastic there and the spoiler doesn't lift up I'm not sure in the rear car also lift up so I need to double check that and then you got that all painted on the signal and stuff like that here as well so yeah it's okay I mean they got a little bit logo here LPI 800 something uh, 4 or whatever you got your cup here and if I open the door so yeah you got quite a few details and this is really impressive interior I mean, it would be nice if you get a few of these one and paint in different color yourself right so that would be really awesome now if i look at the uh, surface here that is also cool i mean i like this step uh, window style and this is the thing about Lamborghini, right? Some people love Ferrari, some like Bagani. I, I love Italian supercar, but Lamborghini is a very unique one. To me, Lamborghini is the best when it comes to car design. And they really have their very creative ideas and stuff. They don't look boring at all, you know? And you can see the center console from this little window as well, just like CN. And then the engine part is, <laughs> wow, not bad, I have to say. And you got a painted uh, suspension effect as well. They're fake, by the way. They're not real, right? Not like LC. They want to push the wheel, and they don't actually move. There is a sub suspension directly underneath of this, but doesn't link to this one at all. But it does have quite enough depth and uh, quite a few lines and all the plug and all the bit and pieces. And uh, it says V12 in there as well. So it is looks really not bad at all considering the price point which is about 40 to 35 pounds. So I am very happy with this model. Uh, absolutely. Right. So <laughs> yeah, it is really really cool model cars and wow, this is really impressive. Anyway, let's look at the Porsche and um, uh, Porsche is a bit different story. So you can tell from the surface, right? Lamborghini is very 
edgy, right? Very sharp corner and Porsche is a bit round. So everything is a, a bit round and fat style, you know, uh, a bit muscular and the Lamborghini is a bit aggressive and they're very different car design language, you know? So anyway, so let's look at the Porsche. Porsche usually a uh, metallic paint. So these yellow are actually metallic. So if you put it on a, under the sunlight, they actually sparkle. It's really incredible. And just like a real car, but the Lamborghini is a solid paint, so you don't have any sparkle effects. But nevertheless, I like interior of Lamborghini. Right, so let's look at the Porsche, and I like Porsche Mini Champs, and I want to get this 992 is my favorite Porsche ever design, right? Um, I tried to get it from Mini Champ Turbo, and I hated it. They don't even have opening part. So I have it on my channel and I make a video for it and I decided to sell it within two, <laughs> two or three days later. The same with the Auto Art Aurus, uh, I hated it so much, I decided to sell it after that. Um, so here we are, so I have this one, I've been waiting for opening die cars model for Porsche and finally I got it, right? So this is really, really nice. I am not disappointed at all whatsoever. I even like this little yellow paint is around on here and radius and color but the same as this really shallow it's disgusting don't look at it <laughs> but uh, otherwise it's really not bad and you got all the little painted signal lights and stuff and of course these are all not see-through mesh and you do have quite depth here i think for air intake I don't know where it's actually go does it go through oh yeah it does wow I don't know whether you can see on the camera, but I can see it in person here. You can see my fingers. I can see the daylight coming through from this gap. So there is a gap here, the air intake that goes in here and come out from the uh, inside, from the bumper. That is really cool. That That is really nice. Anyway, so you got opening part on the trunk. Uh, there you go. Now the painted part and the hidden areas are not good as the um, you know the on the surface part of course. Um, you got opening part and you got little see-through holes here as well, which is also nice and no carpet, of course. And light details are not bad. You know you got the uh, full dotted LED light with the silver main beam as well. Um, I hope you can see it clearly. It is kind of tricky one to do it in the daytime with this uh, light lightning. Uh, I need to get better lightning effects. Anyway, uh, you got the all the mirror is a little bit plasticky, and the spoiler is also plastic. So these are the area where you feel the paint job is not good, you know. And but the rest of the die cast paint job is absolutely brilliant. And if I open the door, and you can see the uh, hidden part here is not very nice. But again, I have an Ottawa Signature 177, and they are also the same problem. Anyway, so let's move on. All right, so interior is nice, um, but unfortunately it's quite black. Everything is black, and you got some silver in the center console gear stick. You got dies and knobs and all the buttons. You can see everything, the sat nav. You got a little bit of pictures in there. Um, Picture don't do, you know, uh, the camera don't do justice here. You need to see it in person. You can't actually see bits and pieces there. But it is quite bland and quite plain black uh, compared to Maisto uh, Lamborghini here. This is a lot more uh, but you know, cool to watch. And this one is definitely boring in interior. And they don't put a lot of effort to make it awesome it does have some knot and button and stuff but it doesn't really stand out you do have some uh, gd tree on the uh, headrest um, i don't know whether you can see that it's all dark here it's so difficult i should have chosen a different time of the day but anyway so you got the wheel we also has suspension on it and then yeah interior is all right um but not exciting so that's my conclusion for that and so you got all the nice light here uh, exhaust pipes is okay quite deep and this is a painted and uh, not opening part here and here's nothing that apart from anti roll bars and you know uh, stuff because it's for track car and you do have a seat belt as well which is nice um you can see some seat belt and then on the other side um it's okay um yeah again it's quite black and boring 
but the overall look on the surface and this is really not bad model car for the price point i will say if i have to purchase it on ebay i will definitely pay for 40 pound for this okay and if you can find for 40 less than 40 pound definitely go for it but for porsche uh, i feel like if i compare side to side with the countach i would say this is a little bit cheaper feeling okay so countach is better feeling um definitely worth the money and uh, this one i would say about 35 pound uh, or the 38 pound is maximum um but yeah so there we are anyway nevertheless i'm pleased that i have this one in die cars with opening part and uh, hopefully uh, somebody do this one a bit better model uh, with the um, opening part in with the die cars then i will get some more of those anyway thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video cheers